What up, Internet? I am the PC Goblin. So, I was recently contacted by the people over at Skypad, and they wanted me to try out a couple of their Skypads so that I could give a review and tell you guys about it. And generally, I'm not very interested with mouse pads. I mean, I've got several sitting over here that you can see. But what made this particularly interesting to me was it's made out of glass. And I don't know if you guys have ever used a mouse on top of a glass surface or like a glass table. And I'm not talking about the ones that have nothing underneath it because then there's nothing for it to track on. But like a wood desk that has a glass piece over the top of it, it doesn't necessarily work out all that great because there's all that glass that it's got to go through and whatnot. So I was really interested to see just how good this kind of mouse pad is. So they sent me a couple of them. I've got a black one and a white one. This is the white one. And then on top of that, they sent me a couple of their Teflon feet, or a few of their Teflon feet. Now if you put these on the bottom of your mouse and use this, they were telling me it's completely quiet, you can't hear it, and it makes for a much better experience because it just slides over it with little to no resistance at all. So we're going to give all that a try and compare it against my other mouse pads. So I've got the Razer Invicta. Pretty sure that's what it's called. It's been a while since I've reviewed it and taken a look at it. And then I've got the Vespula, made by Razer as well. And then an old, cheap, and I don't want to say crappy, but not an amazing mouse pad by Mono Price. It's got a smooth, fast surface, and then a textured one, so it's got a little bit more grip to it, just like the other mouse pads that I've got. And then we're going to try it out with my Magic Mouse, a wireless Mighty Mouse, a random wireless Logitech Mouse, and then a random Insignia Wired Mouse, and then finally, my preferred gaming mouse, which is the Razer Ouroboros. On the box, it says Tempered Glass 2.0, Skypad. I think it's supposed to be Skypad 2.0. Uh, professional gaming gear, mouse pad of glass, looks cool, solid and steady, long lasting. Amazing accuracy, comfortable to use, doesn't lose shape or bend. The dimensions are 300 by 350 millimeters. This is a quite a large mouse pad. Then on the back, it says it's heat treated for durability and it's about five times stronger than regular glass. So this is what it's like when you first get one of these. Opens up to foam, cardboard, and if we remove the foam, there's our mouse pad. Although it seems weird calling this a mouse pad since it's glass. It's not really a pad. Pad of glass. So it's a mouse pad, the back of it. And we'll have some up close footage of this at the end of the video. So if you want to see a better view of it, check out the end of the video. And then that's it for the box. Not much to it, which I like. Good for the environment and whatnot. Now let's look at the Teflon feet real quick. Piece of paper. So it's got alcohol wipes, Teflon feet. It's got some kind of like yellow textured stuff with that. I'm not really sure what that is. So I got a bunch of little feet and a couple of big feet. So the top of the mouse pad feels like it's got a little bit of texture to it. It does feel like glass. It kind of feels like frosted glass. And then the back of it probably just white paint. That's what it feels like. That's what it looks like. And then it has little rubber feet on top of it. So it does sit a little bit higher than your desk. A lot higher than what I'm used to. So between all the mouse pads, the mono price is almost right at the desk height. Quite a bit lower than the other ones. Then the Razer Vespula, which they don't make this one anymore. They've got a newer version that looks really nice. But it's quite a bit lower as well. If you were to remove its feet, which help it stay in place, it'd be even lower, but you don't have to have those feet either. And then the Invicta, it, it's noticeably lower as well. But like I said, it's the feet that are kicking this thing up. The Vespula and the Monoprice ones were the shortest ones I've ever used. So when I got this, it was a little bit of a noticeable bump, but I didn't notice it much. But I have used this one and it is fantastic, but 
it is noticeable how high this is. So if that bugs you, you're gonna wanna remove these feet, but don't remove them immediately. Give it a try, wait for, you know, use it for several hours before you decide if you wanna remove it. I did that last night and after a little bit, I didn't even notice how tall it was anymore. Let's actually talk about how awesome this thing is. So, thing's glass. So, it never gets dirty, or at least it doesn't get dirty in a way that you can't ever clean it. For example, if we look at my Vespula, it's a little bit old, but you can see all sorts of stuff that's gathered on the top of it, and then the surface of it is actually worn out as well, especially where that dirt is. That won't happen on this. If you ever do get dirt on this, just spray some Windex or some kind of cleaner on it, wipe it off, boom, back to new. And then for actual use, it feels really, really good to use a mouse on top of this. It feels better than all the other pads I've ever used. This is by far my favorite pad to use. Never buying anything else. This is gonna be my mouse pad for life. Unless something else comes out that's better than this, then, you know, things change. But the foreseeable future, this is my mouse pad of choice. Now, before we switch over to the cons, this may be a con or maybe a plus for you. The mouse pad itself is fairly large, if you haven't been able to tell yet, so. Just to compare it against the other mouse pads. Got the Vespula. The Mono Price. I thought the Mono Price was a pretty big mouse pad. And then the Invicta. So as you can see, it's almost as wide as the Invicta is, but quite a bit taller. So I'm not really sure what kind of mouse pad person you are. I know some people like small ones. I know some people like ones that cover the whole desk. Granted, yeah, those ones that cover the whole desk are not hard surfaces. Now why this might be a con is because with how big this is and how hard it is, it's not like you can just kind of slide something over it or under it or whatever else. This is gonna be what's sitting there unless you put whatever object completely on top of the mouse pad. So it takes up a big footprint on your desk. It's really not that noticeable from what I found. I had to push my monitor back a little bit, but honestly, it wasn't much. And then the other cons to this is it's fairly heavy. And then on top of that, it's glass, which is, you know, why it's heavy, but this can shatter, it can break. So if you accidentally drop it or drop something heavy on it, it's obviously probably going to shatter into a billion pieces and maybe cut you. Overall, I don't think those cons are really much of cons myself because I'm not gonna drop my mouse pad. I don't care if it takes up a bigger portion of my desk than you know, this one did. And with how good it feels over these, just it's completely worth having in my opinion. So to buy this, if you look at the link in the description below that you probably saw at the first of the video, this takes you to a European Amazon website. So you're probably gonna have to change the language from whatever it's sitting at back to English so you can read it. But from there, you can order it and have it shipped to America. It's really not a big deal. And that link gives it to you for about half off, which sets it at about 50 euros. And the last time I checked was about 54, 55 US dollars. And if you want more colors than what you see in that link, you can go to skypad-gaming.com. And from there, you can choose, I think five different colors, white, black, red, green, and then one other color that slips my mind. And from there, it's gonna ship from Europe over to you. So it will take a little bit of time to get to you. I think these took two, maybe three weeks to get to me before I actually had them, you know, from when they were shipped to where I had them. Sat in, I'm guessing, customs for a long time. But to summarize this really quick for the too long didn't watch, great mouse pad, it's hard, takes a big footprint. If it ever gets dirty, it's easy to clean, it's glass, it's gonna last you probably your entire lifetime unless you break it. And you can get it for half off if you use the link in the description below. And that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you wanna see more of my stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching.